I think what expedites the timeline to a feature is focusing on becoming full-time faster. Right. Because that's, and, but don't jump too early. We have a couple of young filmmakers coming in. They just started their video production company uh, roughly a year ago. They just, I guess, kind of want to pick my brain a little bit, which I'm honored that they want to even do that. They even thought to do that. And I just hope that we can give some good feedback to them. It's all about just saying the experience, not really telling how to. I, what I want to figure out is exactly what you guys expect kind of out of this meeting. So what would you say is the main issue or heartache uh, as far as getting kind of like the, the paying clients for you guys. Because I mean, everyone, like our end goal is to do features. Right. And everyone that I ever talk to, that's the ultimate end goal. Right. So it's like, I want to get like pretty specific. We would love to be able to quit. We have day jobs yeah. and quit our jobs and just, you know, pursue like producing full time. Yeah. That would be our dream. Yeah. But just kind of how to get there. So even if we come to them with our, with like a bigger budget and say, okay, well, this is how much it would like realistically cost you. Yeah. They'll honestly just say, not worth it. Can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's uh, one thing. One, so one of our biggest clients is um, and how we got that client was was just a bunch of hustle really like and I was like hey man we got we got a whole company we can take right. on these projects because I knew they were doing other projects. Uh -huh. Two years later after doing these one-off interview things they finally were like okay yeah we're we're using up everyone that we know so far so we're taking a risk on you guys. They use other production companies and if they don't like one thing that they did, they were like, all right, never again, not using them ever again. So he was like, I'm afraid that's gonna happen to you guys if you mess up on one thing. And I said, dude, I will lose these five to $1,000 gigs here and there for the bigger budget things right. for each video is grand. Like I, I, will, I, I will risk that 100%. So they finally took the risk. And then ever since then, they have become probably our biggest client thus far. I wonder if it's worth if you guys know anybody that you can just do like a like a little interview with, like yeah. set up, if you know someone who owns a company or someone in a new startup or someone just in communications for a big company, just offer it almost for free. Like we're come right. in and let's mm -hmm. we're do an interview or if you guys need just simple a simple shoot, you don't want to offer you know the whole house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but at least at least allow them to see the flyer. Because I mean, just one thing that I was doing was trying to hire everyone that I knew I could do their job. Okay, I can hire an editor or I can hire uh, more PAs and all that. Or I can hire a producer that's probably a little more experienced than us and that has more connections than us. So that way we just make an impression on them. So when they go to their next client and their client's like, okay, we want you to team up the whole crew, they call you guys as being the company just because it's more about relationships than it actually is yeah. almost what you're producing on screen anyway. Right. So our problem was we had our film company that we were doing corporate work through, but we were so branded as a film company, we kept getting short film ideas. Hey, let's do this and that. I mean, literally I got text today. My budget, <laughs> he literally said my budget's $27. And like, I know it's a, I know it's a joke, yeah. but that joke, a lot of truth is said in jest, like, yeah. right? You're like, it's funny because it's true. Yeah. But, the good thing is he's hitting us up as our film company. Right. So what we did is we completely separated. We, we came to a point where we're like, okay, our film company is this. This is where we're gonna do shorts, features, paid, non-paid, all that shit. This is where we're gonna do our film stuff through. That, yeah, we've been, we've actually been approached about that because our logo is like, more comedy based yeah. and we want to do more dramas before like or even yeah. for corporate stuff like yeah. see that's that's what we we did, came to a point where we had to separate the both because it was kind of hurting both worlds like our when we had a conversation with um and it's almost playing two personalities honestly but when we had a conversation with like a corporate client while we were still under our film name they were like, oh, so on your website, I see you got a lot of films. Or So do you guys really do corporate? Like, why are you doing corporate? And then vice versa, when we had a conversation with corporate client or with film people, they're like, oh, so you guys aren't experienced enough to not be doing corporate stuff. Yeah, and that's one thing that we've done extremely well is manage corporate clients because um, that's our bread and butter. Right. But it's bread and butter in the sense that we, we like it. It's not that we just do it to pay the bills. We do it because uh -huh. we actually love doing it. Uh, and then on the other side, we're doing films. 
what we do on the corporate world lends us the ability to take two months off to do a film like we did last year. Right. And so I had come up with like a pitch for them and they dismissed it and whatever, but I, it's like a good idea. Yeah. Like how would you, cause it's like one of those things where it's like, I don't want to just go pitching it to anybody cause then they could just be like, fuck it, we're just gonna do it on our own. Yep. Yeah. So it's like hitching it to a company where they couldn't just be like, you guys are small eggs. I'm going to go take it yeah. to this place who can do it big. Or the harsh truth is you can't prevent that. Right. Uh, to yeah. me, it's it's worth the risk because if you really believe in yourself as a creative and like you can come up with another right. idea, right. it's worth the risk of yeah. someone taking it um, for the hope that they do hire you to do it. And that, I mean, that's one thing that we've tried to do too is always always make decisions and focus on the, the long-term game versus the short-term gain. Right. And, you know, that's one thing that's super hard to do because when you are editing or directing or shooting, like I'm a DP and like, it's it's hard to see the amount of money that I can make as a DP and like see that money come into our company and know that I, I'm not seeing that. Because right. I was when we first started out, I was like, all my day rates and all that, I was I was taking in. I was like, yeah, right. I'm, I'm banking. And then I was like, you know what? My company's not gonna grow until I put money back into it. So I, myself and my partner and, and all of us are on salaries now. And no, it doesn't matter if I make 12 grand in a month as a, as a DP, I'm getting my same basic salary and all that's going back into the business to pay for these videos, to pay for social media posts and advertising. Right. And this is something we didn't do that I wish we did in, in hindsight, because I think it would have helped us get out of our full-time jobs faster, um, is go ahead and, and it doesn't matter if it's a separate business account or whatever, but go ahead and create some salary that you guys could live off of and, and start putting a percentage of that, if not 100% of that number to another account as if you are paying you guys okay. as a salary. So that way you become full time quicker because then at that point when it is time to make that leap, you're already used to saying, all right, well we bring in 10 grand a month, we know five grand is our salary split two ways. So, and we've been doing that for the last two years or whatever. Right. And, and it's, that, that way your business doesn't take a hit because you know, you then are used to seeing that money not be part of the pr the next project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more of your salaries. And yeah, that's good, yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, it's like, just patience, because I mean, it's, yeah. it, it's yeah. gonna take a while. Yeah.